Hello everyone, this is Dipali and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be talking about permission groups. We will see how can we create the permission groups. If you happen to be new to my channel, please consider subscribing down below. Hit the bell icon to get notifications on my new videos. Now let's get started. In order to create a permission group, you need to go to the manage permission group in the search for actions or people. Here we have the option called as create new. In order to create a new permission group, let's click on create new. We can then provide the group name. Let's give permission group as the name of our group. Here we can choose the group members. The group will consist of multiple group members and the group members can either be selected from the people pool or they can be added by providing the individual employee IDs or the user IDs. So under the people pool, we have different options using which we can select our employees. There are multiple fields on the job information. We can use these fields in order to select the members of these group. For example, if I select job information department and provide any name of the department, it will pull all the employees in the system who are assigned to that particular department. For example, you have created a new department and there is no one in the system who is hired in that department. Then since there is no individual or no user in the system in a particular department, since the department is new, there will be no member in the group. So if you wonder that after providing a department, the user group is not updated. This is because there is no employee in the system who is hired in that department. So if I just give any sample department and click on update. So there are 20 members in the system who are in this particular department. We do also have an option of adding another category or adding another people pool. We add another category if we want to provide an and condition. For example, I want all employees who are in the department 7107 and whose username is a employee. When I click on update, it gives zero. Why? Because there is no one in the system who actually fulfills this condition. If you give any employee who is in the department 7107, you might get one option here as one user. If I remove this and add in another people pool as a employee, you will see that if I update this, it gets updated from 20 to 21. So what has it done? It has taken all the 20 users who are in this particular department and this particular user as well. So there are two people pools that are defined here. I do also have an option of adding another people pool. And after that, there is no option to add another people pool. So I can add maximum three people pools at the time of choosing the group members, adding two different people pools serves as an or condition adding another category in the same people pool serves as an and condition so depending upon our scenario we can add multiple people pools with different categories the options that we see under the people pool can also be modified if you want to add one more option say for example i don't see gender here if you want to select members in any particular group based on the gender the people pool can be updated this is done from the dg filters data file the data model file from provisioning the same holds good for exclude these people from the group as well any group or member who is assigned in this particular people pool will not be a part of this particular group say for example if i provide a username a employee and try to exclude it 
I will remove this particular people pool because there is no category being defined here. So I have two people pools in my choose group members and one people pool and exclude these people from the group. If I update, it will again become 20, which are the number of employees in 7107. So what has it done? It has added a employee as a part of choose group members and then subtracted a employee from exclude these people from the group. So finally, we are left with 20 members in the group. If I remove this condition and update, it becomes zero. This means that the employee who was added as a part of choose group members is now removed as a part of exclude these people from the group. Removing this and updating will leave me with one employee in the system. If I click on that, I can see that the first name is Alice. There is no middle name maintained for this particular employee. So this middle name field is blank. The last name is employee. There is no job code maintained and hence it's blank. The location is the DB location. I can close this and finish. This leaves me with the creation of a permission group called as TB permission group. Clicking on the active membership, I can see who are all the active members in this particular group. If I click on click action, display option, clicking on the username and updating will add one more option username in this list. I'll click on close. In the take action, I have option to edit. I can edit the already created permission group. From here, the next is copy. I can copy this and create another group. If I save and view the group now, I can see the copy of the permission group that I have created is created. I can now edit it. So if there are many members in any particular group, you can copy it and modify it, which is a little easy rather than adding each and every member individually in a group. I can then delete this particular group. I'll delete the copy of the DB permission group. So once I click on delete, the group is removed. I can view the summary of this particular group. In the view summary, it tells me about the group definition and the people pool whose condition is the standard username is a employee and granted permission role since this particular user group is not assigned to any permission role there is no permission role coming here db permission group has the following permission roles in the permission role there is none so this means that this particular permission group is not assigned to any role and then i have view change history it shows the changed date. When was it changed? Changed by and the view summary. When I click on the view summary, it tells the current state of the DB permission group. So these are all the options available. And if I click on edit, there is granted permission roles as well. And this tab granted permission role will have a list of all the permission roles that this group is assigned to. In this case, this group is not assigned to any permission role and hence we don't see anything here. If I just show any group as an example, it says granted permission role. So this is the permission role that is assigned to another sample group that was already created in the system. So thank you so much for watching the video. I hope it was helpful for you. Do remember to check my other videos. You can check the link that you see on the screen as well. Please do comment in the comment section if you're looking for any specific topics in the employee central area. See you soon in my next video. Thank you. Bye for now.